with the corner. Chance to not hear frog it. Chance to shoot. Oh, it's at the bar. Must be the first goal. There it is. Opening goal for Wolverhampton. Dean Rich is the goal scorer. Gannon, chance to cross it. A bit too near the keeper. And Stahl just rolls it out to Keith Curl. It's Keane. Gomez with a shot. Oh, what a goal! had no chance with that well you have to say it was against the run of play that the wall supporters won't be bothered by that so there have been very few stoppages or there was one earlier on in the half so there might be a little bit of time to add on a chance there and a goal for County Stockport County pull a goal back. A Brett Angel with a header. And the County faithful rewarded there. A nicely simply worked goal there by County. Overcame the cross. And Brett Angel, food and drink for him as usual. Straight in the back of the net. Muscat on the ball. Froggett loses it out. Now County have got it. We'll throw it to Brett Angel. Chris Burr, it's a lovely pass that. If, if Moore can just go on the end of it. Might have a go from there. A chance at a goal in the county. Cross for a Moore. And again, Brett Angel, the scorer. Thoroughly deserved as well. And the county faithful. Go wild with your lights. Right, so county fans were joined by the county skipper, Mike Flynn. Well, Mike, a 2 2 draw. Would you have settled for that before the game started today? I think before the game, uh, obviously, we'd uh, settle for another uh, point. Um, I said that, you know, we've been playing half decent and, um, you know, Wolves have started off ever so well before wins out of four. And I think everybody knew that the run would come to end and, um, you know, we thought it'd be, you know, it'd come to end uh, for us. It was a real firework of a start, wasn't it? Wolves hitting the bar, then we very early scored the other end. So, yeah, it was a real uh, pumped up game. Yeah, you know, both sides uh, went out there and they wanted to win. Um, you know, there's a good crowd in today and um, you know, I'm sure they've all gone home um, very happy. Of course, it's 2-0 down. It was a good comeback. Hez didn't drop, but we had a lot of possession, didn't we, in the first half? Yeah, um, you know, the manager changed the formation today and, um, you know, he, the formation he played, the 4-3-3, three, three, he thought it'd, um, it'd work against them. Um, like I say, we had a lot of possession, but we just didn't have the, um, the killer touch in the first half. Second half, um, you know, we turned the, the game totally on its head and um, I think it was unfortunate, really, not to get the three points. And getting that goal just before half-time, must have g up the spirits in the dressing room at that point? Yeah, you know... Um, we didn't feel that, you know it was two goals um, worse than them, and then to get the goal um, for half time just gave us a, you know the good art to go for the second half. Now during the game, we had a few battles there with uh, Steve Bull out there. It was uh, a pretty good uh, game between you. Any comments on that? Well, you know Steve Bull, he, he plays um, with his heart on his sleeve, and um, so do I. You know, none of us wanted to give an inch, and um, I think it showed today. Now another draw today against one of the teams, you know, probably on the promotion favourite. So, uh, what's the viewpoint now going to our next game? Well, you know, I think if you look at our, the fixtures we've already played, you know, we've probably played five out of the um, probably the teams that are going to finish in the top six, um, or there thereabouts. So, um, you know, we felt as if we, you know, started reasonably well. We've got a lot more points on the board than we had at this stage last season. And now, you know, if we yes, you know, if we continue to play like we played in the second half, you know, against the lesser teams, hopefully we can start picking a few more wins up. Grimsby Town are the next opposition. They beat West Brom 5-1 today, so there are going to be no pushovers on Saturday. No, no, but I'm sure they were fired up today. Uh, you know, it was Alan Buckley um, playing against his old team. Um, always has a bit more um, spice to the game, and um, you know, a great victory. You know, I think they've came up now, and they, um, they haven't lost, so it'll be a difficult game.
Anyway, right, mate, good battle today. Well done. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, okay. no problem. Old trail, then. That's right, it's been a long time. It's nice to get off the mark and uh, good that we've picked up a point. Do you think the team deserved more than a point today? Plenty of possession, didn't they? We did do. I think uh, possibly all told, I think the draw was probably a fair result. I think uh, they had uh, a number of chances, a few gold mouth clearances and what have you. I thought we also had a number of chances at the other end as well. So I think, uh, in hindsight, I think the draw was probably the best result. And getting that goal just before half time was crucial, wasn't it, to keep the team spirit going at half time dressing room? That's right. We'd gone in, uh, we'd gone two goals down, and they looked to have the, you know, the run of the game, so to speak. And then to do, as you say, just before half time, it just knocked the stuffing out of them a little bit. And I thought we started the second half uh, more positive and got what we fully deserved. I thought. Now your two goals, how do you, both fairly simple sort of goals for you, aren't they? You know, just on the end of crosses. How do you see the first one? It was just uh, from a free kick from uh, from Cookie, and I managed to um, get between the. Uh, the goal and the defender and managed just to guide it in and was pleased to see it go in and the second one was a deflected shot and I uh, got hold of it quite nicely actually and uh, it ended up in the back of the net. Yeah. I played your possession today and the, the team looking pretty good today, another draw of course so, but against one of the more fancy teams so uh, you know what's the feeling in the camp? <clears throat> well I think you know I wouldn't say there'll be too many teams come here and absolutely walk all over walls I think they're going to be a strong side especially at home and uh, I think if you look at our three away games where we picked up five points, they've been fairly tough games. Bradford, and where we won, and uh, Barnsley, who you feel that they, they'll they be looking to, to get straight back up. Uh, I mean, the expectations of the team and supporters, we finished eighth last year, which created club history. So are we going to just notch a couple of places higher this, this season? Well, we've just got to take things slowly. You know, I, I, I've said before that I think sometimes you catch people on the hop when you first come up and uh, people now really know all about us. It's going to be a little, life's going to be a little bit more difficult and the fans have to be a bit more patient as well. They, they can't expect uh, just because we're playing at home that we're going to you know, walk all over teams. We have to earn that right to, to win games. And I'm sure that uh, over the coming weeks we'll do that and uh, you know, move up the table. Now you've uh, got a couple of goals today. Any sort of target for this season? You know, any sort of uh, you set yourself any store for? You? No, I just I just get out there and try and score as many as you can. As, you know, I had a decent season last season. I'd like to, to to get in and around. I think any striker sort of sets his stall out for sort of twenty. That's the sort of benchmark. So I suppose that's where I'm aiming for. Got to go. We'll settle for that certainly, and a few more maybe. Okay, Brett. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank